Mother's milk, your visage speaks of ill tidings. Speak, ally mine. What troubles you? Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? Let them come, and let them find me. Dame Aelin will strike down any who seek to bring her to harm's home. Yet, it is better to cut off the head of the snake than to let its slithering snakeling swarm us unabated. This wizard, this wizard, must be held to account. I will wring his neck until he's dead. <laughs> the weasel outweaseled. <laughs> well done, my friend. But Dame Aelin's deeds are great. Her presence, present. Sooner or later, he will discover that the daughter of Saluna lives. Let us travel to his chambers, his lair. We will see him undone, in the style of the dead, unburied Ketherick Thorm. I'm coming with you. I'd like to get a few licks in myself. My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts, all the sooner to be reunited. I won't let you go alone. Who knows what this wizard might have planned? Our closest ally will accompany me, won't you? It will be a swift and fruitful chore. Hie we to this Laroican right away. I am as eager to meet him as he is to ensnare me. They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves, without guile, without pretense. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup should you wish to experience it for yourself. The very first reward I gifted myself on completion of my first adventure, the garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. We spoke of my relationship with Duke Elin Stelmay, a story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. By necessity, not design. But I'm glad you appreciate the richness of my experience. Yours has been no less exciting. But even with all your experience, it has not been easy. The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together. But few would trust a mind flare. So I did what I had to to convince you. I studied you. Your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. Consider that you were just a problem to be solved. And not an easy one at that. But I persisted. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how much I would enjoy.
would you like that? Good instinct. The Elder Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous proportions. And through the Crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, but now, with its hive mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. We must stop it while we still can, before we too become its slaves. As you drift into sleep, you feel a certain disappointment. The Mind Flare was very quick to abandon its attentions on you. There's little point in pressing Nine Fingers further. She means what she says. But we swore no vows. She won't tell us where to find Minsk? Someone else in her guild hall will. We need to be swift. I suppose we must greet the local wildlife. Guild hall is awash with ill-scented gossip at the best of times. These days, they have nothing but the Stone Lord to talk about. You wish to speak? I am here for you. Come here to me. Was there something else you wanted, my heart? The city, you mean, with all its noise, smoke, stone, and bustle? I would not be here given the choice, but I promised you my support, and that is what you shall have. Still, though, this place crawls with life, but little of it flourishes. I see refugees unhoused, the destitute unwanted, orphans unloved. The city is like a forest with an overgrown canopy. Light and nourishment cannot penetrate to those who need it the most. And still it draws them in. The safety of numbers, the promise of civilization, the dream of better. All that potential is too often destined to die in the dark and rot in the gutter. I wish, I wish there was a better way. I wish everyone could see the sun, have a full belly and know nature as a friend. There is a balance that is yet to be found. <laughs> Listen to me, preaching like an initiate in his cups. Yes, I hope so. But we have a battle to win before any of that. That was so scary. Oh my gods. But we're back now, safe, and we can have soup. I made it. Want some? Rovia burned the bullier base again, and now I have to scrub the pot. Some chef he is. <laughs> Oi, we got rats in cellar. We also got cats, but cats are useless. So how about you kill the rats? You did? Very clever. Good job. Yes. Here, you take this. You were only doing your job, but still, thanks for killing those rats. Now I can repose decorously in peace. <sighs> see, see? That fingers is a master of strategic. Strategical. She's clever for us. Won't fight the Stone Lord out in the open, but she's got a spot picked out, see? And, and, uh... I don't care about Stone Lord Tut. Don't care about some ambush. I asked, do you eat my last pickled ooze? Huh? Bugger off. I'm talking to my friend about an ooze. No, no. He who keeps his manners keeps his teeth. Besides, you are only pretending to be as wine-soaked as your friend here. I... How can you tell? I've been to fouler festivals than this, and you... 
have the stage presence of Volotham Gedarm. Now, you were speaking to my friend, politely. Boss, this one has respect. <sighs> now, where was I? A stone lord, aye. Master's going off to the counting house, but he doesn't know that there's just another guild operation, eh? Nine Fingers is gonna catch him with his claws in their coffers. <laughs> I pity the bastard. The counting house. But what the hells could Minsk want there? Happy? Now, why were you? We want drink in peace. Yeah. What have we here? A magician in a tower, hiding away from the frightening world. What are you so scared of, Magus? Not the Night Song, surely? Why, she's nothing but a relic to be purchased and pursued. My god. The Night Song is a person. Uh, by my honor, it's you. My dear, I thought you were. You will address me with due deference. I am Dame Aelin. And you are a whelp without honor, without pride, with nothing but a tower full of trinkets. Oh, my apologies, Dame Aelin. I meant no disrespect. I asked our mutual friend here to make an introduction that I might get to meet the famed daughter of Saluna. Forgive me for that impudence. Perhaps our friend can bridge the gap and do what I believe they came here to do? My steel-hearted friend speaks true. Give me one good reason, Magus, why I should not strike you down where you stand. <sighs> Dame Aelin, I have discovered a device that would allow your immortality to be shared. It would cause you no harm, no pain of any kind. You serve your mother, Saluna, I believe. She who has blessed our realm with so many gifts. Honor her by sharing yours. You dare to threaten me with the same magic that held me in torment for a hundred years! You do not seek to share my gifts. You seek to poach them. <laughs> I had hoped to appeal to your better nature. Perhaps I overestimated you. Hmm. No bother. I have an arsenal of implements capable of convincing you to see reason. A pity you didn't prove a more reliable ally. You could have reaped the rewards of my good favor. I'd hoped you to keep an open mind, but it seems you're determined to make this as difficult as possible. Boy, at the ready. Once I've taken control of the Asimar, she must go directly into the caging runes. No, Master Lorokan. I would never have assisted you if I knew you planned such horrors. You lied to get the Night Song here. Made us all believe she was nothing but a relic. I have seen what true leadership can accomplish, but never under your tutelage. Watch your tongue, you child. I could make it such that no wizard in the realm will touch you.
If they're all like you, I think that sounds like an excellent bargain. <laughs> oh, face us, charlatan! We who detest you so! Mamadons! Imperatum! <laughs> Leroican, you who would see me caged, you who would purchase my submission with profane gold. Let every wicked magus, every vile murtherer, each slaver and misery merchant see. Dame Aelin is watching. She is indomitable. And when her face lights the shadows of your wrongdoing, you are broken by its beauty! The Roican is dead. The bastard is dead. I am. Now that the bastards and bits. Leroican was a cruel and vicious man. By day, I'd tend the shop, but at night, he'd fire the most nonsensical questions at me. And for every one I answered wrong, he'd beat me. I could have killed him with my own two hands. But I kept thinking it was all a test. It had to be. I thought it was the price I had to pay to become a true wizard. I realize now he was just a sick, sick man. As do I. I see things clearly now. If I wish to master the weave, I must do it myself. Thankfully, I have everything I need right here. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. I do indeed. I'll move Cal and Leah in immediately. The Roican refused to let them stay here. They are gonna love the tower. I wouldn't have this, the tower, my family, without you. What can I do to thank you? I will. I will be the ruler of Ramazeth's tower they deserve not some vicious recluse who hides from the world. Myself and this tower are now your allies. When the time comes, we will stand by you however necessary. The Firehead Fool is dead. Yet as I stare upon his corpse, I feel... sadness. Why? A gripping in the chest. As though I'd lost someone. Something. Uh, uh, Paladin's fatigue, no doubt. You were excellent in battle, as is your way. And I am proud to fight at your side. And you, tiefling, you did not embarrass yourself. I will catch my breath, then to camp I will bring my bones. Moon Maiden be with you. Moon Maiden's blessings to you. We are a small family, smaller than I hoped for, but we are whole again. It comes and goes, and eventually it will come more often than it goes. Time is far crueler than Shah could ever be. I do not think I will ever get better, but I wish to make the most of the time I have left with my family. Besides, I'm tougher than I look. I'll fight on, now that I have something to fight for. Now this old lady will be getting in the way in your fine camp, I'm afraid. Don't worry. I shall pull my weight and help how I can. After so long in captivity, it feels good to use my hands again. Saluna's so blessings to you. My wife will need care. I wish to find somewhere quiet, close to nature, where the sun can warm us. 
and the moon can watch over us as we sleep. And Shadowheart, too, may wish to join us, perhaps, once she's helped you put down this absolute threat. I've gleaned enough from word around this camp to know you're more than capable. You will prevail. Of course, only a fool would alienate his child over a name. Shadowheart must determine her own path. That is what the Moon Maiden teaches. Still, I am unused to it. I can only hope she forgives a slip of the tongue now and again, until I adapt. I am. But with Saluna's guidance, I learned how to control the beast long ago. I only let it loose again when my family was threatened. Unfortunately, I was unable to stop what befell us, as neither elf nor wolf. I'm sorry, but what happened in that room? That must stay within the family. Just know that we endured and are grateful for your help.